What's going on, everybody? I'm Matt. And this is Photosyntech, and that's a fungus gnat flying around. <sighs> bugs. I hate bugs. I've been dealing with bugs now in the growth space for a while. Now, this lady here, she's uh, she survived pretty much unscathed. A little bit of spider mite damage, but nothing like the other plants that I had. So, this girl's, uh, well, she's going to be going to uh, get chopped and... Uh, washed and hung up to dry here shortly. Now, before I go any further, I just want to take a quick uh, minute and say thank you to everybody who's subscribed to the channel so far. Recently hit 200 subs, and while I know this isn't a massive number in terms of YouTube subscribers, to me, it's it's just amazing. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you, have, if you haven't, please think about doing so. Uh, I love making these videos, and I must be doing some, right, if you guys are hitting that button. Anyway, that being said, today we're going to be cleaning out this girl's face. I'm going to chop this girl down, we're going to get her hung, and then I am going to be hitting this space with a bunch of different uh, treatments, if you will. So, let's get started on that. Talk about that first one in a minute here, the Dr. Doom Fogger. But uh, first, I need to chop this girl down. Okay, well, a quick uh, chop, wash, and hang, and that guy's going to sit and dry now for, yeah, five to seven, ten days. Again, just depends on the plant. Keeping that relative humidity at the right, uh, well, humidity and the temperature at the right temps. So let me just show you what I got going on here now. So you can see, uh, I've just got the one pot. Uh, I'm going to clear that out. Going to pull up this plastic here still. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, the, the space is completely empty. Um, so this is what I'm going to go with next is this stuff right here. Just whip this guy back around. So this is this is what I'm going to be taking out here. The the Doctor Doom Go Green Total Release Fire. Here, let me see that there. This stuff contains py pyrethrin. Py but, oh, hold on a second here. Let's see. Okay, this this stuff contains uh, pyrethrin. Py pyrethrin. 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 Okay. So, Dr. Doom actually happens to be uh, north of me here, up in uh, the the capital of Alberta, which is Edmonton, of course. And I've uh, I've spoken to these guys. I sent them a letter. I said, "Is this stuff okay to use on my on my my grow room and you know my plants and stuff?" And they said it's fine to use on plants up to three days before flower. Now, that's going to be a personal growing choice. I I decided again not to use anything like this, but I'm going to use it now because the space is empty. So let's let's check out what it says here. In the instructions uh, directions for indoor use we would be on the indoors uh, so remove birds and fish bowls pets I have none of those in my grow space right now I have some dogs and cats but they're inside the house open cabinets and doors I'd say we're pretty open shut off fans and air conditioners can be used manually or valve can be locked in an open position so I guess that's for the fogging thing uh, to lock in an open position for automatic discharge and press valve leader down until it firmly clicks and stays pressed well there you go folks easy peasy uh, four to six seconds spray example for an average size room three meters by three meters by three meters uh, Spray into cracks crevasses and other areas where insects may hide you hear that you little bastards I'm coming to get you. We're gonna fog you out here uh, ba, 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 ba. Place can on stand or table in center of an obstructed area lock valve down in the open position Leave building at once and keep building close for two hours before airing up. Oh, okay. Well, it's already 730 at night So I guess Oh, and ventilate for 30 minutes. So I guess what's going to happen here is I'm, I'm going to, well, I'll be doing this part tonight and we'll continue the video tomorrow after I've done the fogging. So here we go, uh, Dr. Doom, go green, total release fogger. Yeah. So there we go, that was fogging. Uh, not particularly difficult in any way, shape, or form. The big thing was to make sure that I got, of course, the room aired out properly. So I've now been uh, sitting here for about 22 hours with the space pretty much completely empty, just airing out. Uh, I've had the furnace going just to keep the space warm. Otherwise, 
I found a couple of things, one that wasn't really that surprising and a couple that were, uh, but in, actually it's, it's, it's mold in both cases and it's the location of these that, that actually surprised me. So this stuff here, this is actually in the grow room floor, um, yeah, not, 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 not surprising. This was under the panda film. I know some water had gotten under there at one point and apparently a little bit of mold came up. Um, that's okay. I've got bleach. So that's what I'm going to use to get rid of this mold. Well, one of the reasons. I'm going to talk about the other in just a minute here. Otherwise, let's cut away to a couple other shots here. I actually had mold in the corners of a few spots in the grow room. This was surprising, and this, from what I can tell, was having a, uh, having a cold wall up against well, warm-ish stuff with too much humidity. See, what happened here is in the last few weeks where I live dropped to like just stupid cold. It was minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is pretty close to that in Fahrenheit, I recall. I had some wicked humidity issues because I also ran into a day where the grow room controller just lost its marbles and it wasn't controlling things right. And it took me a little bit to clue in. It wasn't until the humidity spiked up to like 85% in the room, it was crazy. Uh, this is actually a shot of my exhaust vent weeping into the room here. So I, I think what happened there because of that and because of this space, I just ended up with some mold, but that's okay. So I got some bleach here. And normally that's what you would use. You would just take and spray it down the uh, surface here of where the, the mold is and everywhere else in the room to clean up the space. Now I've got another method that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. And this is gonna be flipping unreal to kill all these bugs. So if you don't have what I'm gonna show you next, bleach, just bleach the entire space. Wear gloves, wear a mask, and just bleach it really, uh, really well. Now don't use direct bleach, straight bleach, because that's just crazy. Uh, use a solution of diluted bleach. Um, so, so just bleach, bleach. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages and anybody else. Actually, you know what, children, if you're watching, you shouldn't be watching this. This is adult content. I'm going to show you my next trick here, folks. And this is what I'm going to ultimately do, I think, to rid this space once and for all of spider mites. Steam. Woo! <laughs> I got a uh, steam cleaner here. Uh, Dupre Neat. This... Oh, I'm not sponsoring anything like that. I just I'm showing you this is uh, this is something personal that we have here in the house. Um, this thing is awesome. It's a steam cleaner. Gets the temperature up to about 204 degrees Fahrenheit, from what I understand. Nice hot steam. Now mites will die at about 135 degrees Fahrenheit or as low as minus 12. Now, had this been a couple weeks ago, I probably just would have cold nuked this room by bringing the entire space down to like minus 30 degrees. But you know, since I don't have that option, it's kind of got mites here. Woo! <laughs> Steam. So let's uh, let's get to work. Okay, well, there you go, folks. That is cleaning up the grow space. Now, if you don't have access to a steam cleaner like I've got here, it, bleach is gonna do just fine. The important thing is to make sure that you hit every surface with something and you know, give it a few days at least to recover because that's the thing. For the most part, if these bugs don't have anything to eat, they're gonna die anyway. But I've taken some steps possibly a little overkill to make sure that this isn't going to happen again. And going forward, I am going to run with a pest management plan. I'm going to be doing some sort of organic spraying. I'm, I'm not sure. I have to look into this, do some more research. I'm going to do another video on that in the future, but that's in the future. Next up, new growth series. That's right. We're going to be kicking off a new growth series here starting the next couple days. I have got something I've been working on that I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. So I hope you uh, sub up 
and come back for more. So that's it, that's cleaning. I'm Matt, this is Photosyntech. We are the channel that is high on knowledge. We out.